Hello, uh, Dr. Pelto here. I want to go over a little bit about uh, ganglion cysts and mucoid cysts. This is a question that I get all the time. And what causes a cyst? To keep it really simple, it can either come from a joint, a tendon sheath, or a bone spur, which would be most, most likely arthritis. So let me give an example. You can see here these little lines, these are the joints. And most likely, this is coming from one of these joints, and it's kind of like a herniation where it can get like an out pouch from the joint and it can fill up with this fluid. This fluid that's in there, it kind of looks viscousy, almost like a gel, like hair gel. And that's the same liquid that's in the joint and in the tendon sheath. It's used as a lubricant. Uh, if you get an example right here, this is an example of arthritis, and this arthritis very easily could injure that joint, what that area that's covering it, the, the joint uh, kind of capsule area, and that can get an outpouch and create a cyst. Sometimes when I do an x-ray uh, of a joint, you can see I put a little marker, that this metallic marker I put on there to help me find out exactly where it's hurting them. And this is an example on the side of a, a big toe joint, uh, this little pocket right here. Okay, so those are the causes of a cyst. I want to go now and talk specifically about a type of a cyst, which is a ganglion cyst, but it's called a mucoid cyst. A mucoid cyst is a cyst that's at the joint level of a toe. So you can see here, this is the joint, this is the joint, this is the joint, and this is the joint. They're filled up with the same type of fluid, and here's my little schematic. Do you like my drawing here? It comes right out, forms that little, little cyst, and uh, we, we treat this. Now, specifically with these types, we can, uh, they can pop and things like that. They tend to come back a lot like all cysts. But for this type to treat it, you actually have to do a surgery. You take out a little bit of the bone or you shave down the cartilage and fuse both sides of the bone so it doesn't fill, fill up again. Okay. What are the treatment options? Okay, this is how I treat it. And I want to give a little example. Um, I've changed my examples a little bit, but we want to make a raise. Uh, we want to make a <laughs> we want to make whatever this thing is a grape into a raisin. Okay, you want to shrink the grape down, make it a raisin, and so that's what happened. That little cyst, that little pocket that you have there, we want it to shrink down and shrivel up. Uh, another example I use is the balloon. What happens with a balloon with my kids anyway is they have a balloon that's filled and they empty it, then they fill it up, then they empty it, then they fill it up, and every time they empty it, it's going to start to stick to itself. So the, the treatments are to pop it, and you can pop it on your own. You can see this book therapy, basically you whack the heck out of it. You might try that on your own, but um, look at the skull. That's what happens when you do it, and I'm just joking. Um, some people just pop it on their own. You can try to pop it. I don't recommend doing that. That's because I, I wouldn't have a job. I pop it, but I just use one of these things, which is a needle, and I drain it. And, uh, and then I use compression. So I'm putting a little link underneath this video if you want to get um, a one inch or three inch Coban. Once you pop it, you want to put compression on it. Basically, you empty the balloon, put compression on it so it doesn't fill up again. Okay, that's the whole goal. And you, how long do you leave it on? I would say about two weeks. You take it off when you shower. And then if it fills back up again, then you drain it again. And then it might fill up again. If it, if it, you do it two or three times and it keeps filling up, then you might want to consider removing it. But I'm hoping every time you, you empty it, it, it'll stick to itself. Now, we're not taking out the actual sac, okay? This is the sac. This is the, 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 the sac that's around the cyst. That stays in there. And it doesn't matter if it stays in there as long as it doesn't fill up, okay? And then there are other types of things. Okay, I used to do cortisone injections. I don't do cortisone much anymore for these. I just drain them now. Okay. Occasionally, we need to do surgery. Here's a couple of examples of uh, cyst removals. Uh, once again, that's the sac. I know that's a gross picture, but that's the sac that you remove, sac you remove. Problem is, uh, this is a pathology report that shows uh, cyst. And um, the problem with this though, removal is there's a high chance of recurrence. So we would prefer uh, to not remove it if we can. Um, I like to use checklists. This just really helps me out. Uh, so if you're going to your doctor, you can even use this checklist and bring it with you. Um, basically, you want to get an x-ray to start to see if there's uh, any areas, uh, if it's coming from a joint, something else like that. Um, you might want to mark it with a metallic marker like I did. Uh, then you could do a diagnostic ultrasound. That's what I find most beneficial. And if I'm still unsure, then I'll do an MRI. Uh, what are the traditional treatments? Well, you want to reduce the inflammation in size. So inflammation can be helped with anti-inflammatories, but that's not going to reduce the size of it. Aspiration is just pulling out the liquid with a needle. And then compression, that's key. You can't just pull it out and leave it. You have to put compression on it for a couple weeks. 
okay? And then avoiding irritation. Sometimes shoes can irritate it. And then some of the advanced treatments, we remove them um, uh, to, to do surgery, remove the cyst. Sometimes you have to fuse that bone, like I mentioned before. And then if, if things still aren't getting better, you can get a, a second opinion. So that's all about ganglion cyst. I hope this is helpful. Um, um, and I'd be happy to, to answer any questions, put them here underneath this video.